Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with heaven. The only way that we can do that today is if we recognize the Constitution of the United States. If we abbreviate the amendments, we don't get things right. You see, in our lifetime, there are three major areas of life not true. There's about seven or eight major areas of life that make us who we are to you. The truth is that we have things that we're trying to accomplish. When we're trying to accomplish those things, we need three things to do that. We have the three Ps, and the three Ps are our personhood, which is our personal aspects of us, our heart, our mind, our soul, our body. We also have our paperwork. Our paperwork are our legal documents that allow us access to financial records, banking records, and literally our life records, our birth certificates, our death certificates, and the people who are liable for our life after we're gone. Those are called our legal heirs, and those are really assigned through life insurance policies. On top of that, we have the third area of possessions or property. The Fourth Amendment protects all those things. Our property are the things that we have earned across our lifetime, that we used our own discretionary income to buy. They are the things and gifts that other people gave us through holidays and Christmas and other type of, well, holidays around the world if we lived abroad and things. Those things belong to us. When someone lies and says they're going to take these things, edit these things, destroy these things, sell these things, they have lied about their rights under every aspect of international treaties. We have international treaties that states like Georgia and others are ignoring completely. And underneath international law and United Nations law and NATO, they don't actually, as a state, have the right to deny people access to voting. They don't have the right to deny people access to medical care. They don't have the right to require people to use a certain doctor when they don't want to. And there's a lot of part of technology that are protected underneath international human rights. But we have these bastard people that come to our nation illegally and demorally staying here that allegedly Homeland Security will do nothing about. I don't really think so. What I think is that the right people will do the right thing and the wrong people will always do the wrong thing. But as American citizens, we have the right to do the right thing. And when they are not citizens, they don't give a shit about doing the right thing. Doing the right thing is not a part of the right stuff as a film, but it certainly showed us the things in life that matter to us. What matter to us are our friends, our family, our faith. And we have eight areas usually of life balance that we're dealing with. That is simple and straightforward. Faith is what keeps us together. Family is who sows the soul strings of our lives through every bit of an event that we experience in life, both in our workplace where we can find people who might become our extended family because of the relationships we build or the friendships we have, but also the actual biological family presuming that they know the difference between where their rights begin and end. On top of that, we have fitness, and that covers our health care. Our health care is something that's a very hot topic right now in the political climate because people are pissed off about medical rights. They are pissed off about privacy rights. They're pissed off that somebody in some fucking other state is going to try and tell some woman who's a total stranger to them that she's got to do something with her body that isn't their right to talk about. You see, the human body is a private thing that God gifts to the individual. It's not gifted to a community. It's not gifted to a religious group. It's not gifted to some races or nations in the world. It is gifted to the individual. Beyond fitness, we have the concept of fellowship. And fellowship is that kind of extended area of friendship network. It's our social networks online and offline. Beyond fellowship, of course, we have the concept of philanthropy. And philanthropy is that thing that we do with our free time outside of our normal professional, personal, and spiritual responsibilities to the Lord. Now, I didn't give you all eight areas of, of life balance, but I'm giving you the major areas that are important to the Lord. That if you're a person of God, you know the three Ps. You also know your responsibilities. You know the three R's of life, which is rules, roles, and responsibilities. And an immature child cannot follow rules. An immature child does not know what their role is in a relationship. And an immature child does not understand their responsibilities to a job. The legal aspects of it, the industry, customer service standards of it, and literally the benchmarks which are above and beyond what anyone usually does in it.